Hi there, I'm Mike and I'm back. As you can see behind me, I've got, well, the same shelves and the same stuff, just nothing's out because I just moved in. This is the new toy room. I promise at some point I'll do a walkthrough collection, preview, review, showcase, whatever. I'll do one just to show everyone, you know, what I'm talking about. But for now, you get just this. I don't have my lights up. I've just got the two lamps on either side that are normal lamps. They're actually, they're smart bulbs. <laughs> so that's gonna be fun to play with. So I've been gone for, you know, a while. Like I said, I was about a month, I think. What brought me back today is it's Comic-Con. There's a lot of stuff happening this weekend. And while I'd love to spend time talking about all the rad Marvel Legends that were announced, nobody watches my channel for Marvel Legends news, at least based on the one Marvel Legends review that I've done, I guess. No one, no one really watched that. So let's talk about Star Wars news because I care about that. Now I'm not really gonna get into any of the vintage stuff. I don't collect the three and three quarter figures, so it's not really something I'm gonna talk about a whole lot. I'm gonna focus on the six inch scale Black Series figures because that's what I have a complete collection of and that's what I'm going to continue to collect. Before we jump into the Comic-Con news, what I wanna talk about is things that are being released right now. Commander Wolf, which I have done a review of on this channel, is out. You can find them at Barnes & Noble, Disney stores, GameStops, I think. Go find them if you want clone troopers. Speaking of clone troopers, they did announce season seven of the Clone Wars, which I'm super excited about. I hope you are too, and if not, should be. It's good, go watch it. If you like Star Wars, just go watch the Clone Wars, like, it's good. Basically any day now, we're getting Bespin Han Solo, Tobias Beckett from the Solo movie, and the Rebel Fleet Trooper from Rogue One slash A New Hope. I'm looking forward to those a lot. Although, my advice is maybe you want to hold off on that Bespin Han Solo. We're also getting Enfys Nest and her speeder, which I'm very much looking forward to. Don't know if you liked Solo or not, but I did, and I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Also, there have been some announcements that I haven't really gone over. Things like Admiral Piet, which is an Entertainment Earth exclusive slash online exclusive. General Veers, which is a Walgreens exclusive, which I'm looking forward to. Those should be coming out at some point. The Gamorrean Guard is a Target exclusive that I've heard rumors has been cited in the United States. I know he's been released over in other countries like the UK and Canada. There's also that Stormtrooper pack with the stand and a bunch of explosions. That's going to be a Toys R Us exclusive, but Toys R Us doesn't exist in the United States. So who knows what, who's going to get that? Who knows? I don't know. I don't know who's going to get that, but someone's going to get it. There was also this weekend the San Diego Comic-Con exclusive Bespin Han Solo, which is the same as the Bespin Han Solo we're getting in the regular wave, except for he also comes with a Minoc and like a face mask breather thing, because apparently in the stomach of a space worm, you can just simply exist out in space with simply a breathing mask, which is a, a thing, I guess. So let's talk about the fun stuff. The fun stuff that just got announced, depending on when this goes up, maybe two days ago. I don't know, I was, I'm, I'm rusty. Basically the first day of San Diego Comic-Con, Hasbro always has like a breakfast preview thing where they just kind of throw out some stuff for people to kind of whet their appetites, so to speak. At that breakfast preview, they showed off the Rebel Fleet Trooper, Tobias Beckett, L337, Val from the Solo movie, Bespin Han, Hoth Leia, Dengar, and the new, which I don't think had been announced before, the Imperial Patrol Trooper, which I'm very much looking forward to. I always am down for a new trooper design. Now, I am a little disappointed that he doesn't come with a speeder. In my brain, that was a perfect choice for the next kind of vehicle figure combo. In fact, it was on my list of top 10 vehicle combos that I wanna see, which I haven't made yet. So you wouldn't know that. That's why I'm telling you right now, it was on the list. So here's hoping maybe in the future they'll still do that. But as for now, we're just getting the figure, which is just going to have to be okay, I guess. Now, all of those figures that I just listed are part of the same waves, which is why I said maybe hold off on getting Bespin Han now. That way you can buy the whole case when it comes out and not worry about getting a repacked Han. So that was the breakfast preview Thursday morning. Now yesterday, yesterday being Friday, they had the actual panel where they talked about, you know, upcoming Black Series stuff and what's coming out and, and where they're going from here. And they had a lot of great things to say. And this is good for you people that maybe got into the game a little late. I've been collecting since wave one, day one, all of that stuff. So I have every figure out. They are re-releasing some of the harder to find figures that are very popular. Boba Fett, Bosk, 
IG-88. Those are the big three because those are the three bounty hunters that were released a while ago that are commanding very high prices on the secondary market. And then also Luke Skywalker in his X-Wing pilot uniform, which was number one, phase one, wave one, all of that stuff. Now he's going to have the new face tech, the, the face printing thing. So I'm very much looking forward to getting at least that one for myself to have a better version of that figure. That's good news and apparently there's plans you know to do more like that. Now from what I understood those aren't coming in the normal package those are coming in like a blister card. They also announced that in 2019 they're not going to do as many waves as they did in 2018 and 17 which sounds like a disappointment but what they're also not going to do are release tons of repacks. In the past where you get maybe one, two, three sometimes four new figures in a wave and the rest are figures that have been out before. And then those figures tend to hang out on shelves for a long time because everyone's already got them from maybe the previous wave. Jin Erso, Cassian, Andor, like those figures I think came out in like five different waves and that's why they were everywhere for a little while. Maybe more so than Constable Zuvio. So let's talk about the announcements. First, our exclusives. Now, none of these, to my knowledge, are Walmart. The only Walmart exclusive I know of is the Membin Stormtrooper, which no one has seen yet. So like, where is it? Who knows? Hopefully we'll get it sometime soon. But let's talk about some of the new announcements. First, we got Moloch from the Solo movie, the bad guy. He's got a removable mask. He's gonna be Target exclusive. I think he's gonna be a little bit higher priced because I think he's gonna be a little bit bigger figure. But you know, I'm looking forward to it. I'm gonna buy it. I think it looks fantastic. Moving on, same store exclusive, but different figure. We've got Bespin Escape Leia. So I know initially there were rumors, oh, we're getting a Bespin Leia to go with the Bespin Han. You know, we're expecting like the blue gown and all that stuff. But no, it's just gonna be Leia in basically her Hoth outfit, but without the vest with her Bespin hair with the little braid things coming down. I'm an expert in hair, so I know all about that. Next is an update on a previous Toys R Us exclusive, which, you know, was announced before Toys R Us died. And that's Zuckus, because that is essentially the last Bounty Hunter figure we need to complete the Bounty Hunter set. I've been asked on my channel, oh, who's gonna get it? Toys R Us isn't a thing. Well, first of all, Toys R Us is very much still a thing in Canada, so all the people in Canada will probably still get that. But they announced in the US, the Disney store is going to get an exclusive or the Disney parks or whatever. As before, I also mentioned General Veers, which I'm very much looking forward to, even more so than Admiral Piet. I love a good Imperial officer, but this one comes with a removable vest so you can have just normal officer General Veers or landing on Hoth, the shield will be down in moments, Veers. And the last exclusive they announced is the Captain Phasma, which actually took everyone by surprise Mostly because this figure has already been released in Canada in Toys R Us with no prior knowledge, no prior announcement. It just showed up on stores one day. Now, I don't know when it's coming out in the United States. I happen to have one right here because of Papa Gord. Thanks again, by the way. This one is the Toys R Us exclusive version. But in the US, it is going to be a Disney Store exclusive as well, just like the Zuckus. Now, outside of exclusives, just kind of normal announcements, they announced the Imperial Patrol Trooper, which I'm very much looking forward to. But then they announced a couple others, which I'll, I'm, also, I'm also looking forward to because that's how this works. That's why I'm doing the video. Number one, Rio Durant. Rio was a standout character in Solo. I'm very much looking forward to Rio. Between getting him, Val, Tobias, you know, got the Chewie, got the Han, got the Lando. I just, we just need a Kira in like her Kessel outfit or whatever, like then we'll have everything. Maybe a Tobias in the Skiff Guard outfit like that Lando later used apparently. Eh, a couple of little things there, but we've pretty much got the whole cast, which is more than I can say for Rogue One, which we never finished because we never got a Bodhi hook. Bodhi Rook? Forgot his name. Bodhi Rook? I'm pretty sure it's Bodhi Rook. And the last two figures they announced, which I am very excited for, are Ezra Bridger and Chopper. Two of the very few remaining figures we need from the Rebels crew. We already have Hera, we already have Sabine, we already have Kanan. Now all we need is a Zeb and we have a full on ghost crew and I'm super looking forward to it. Ezra is a season one counterpart. He's got his blaster lightsaber combo and he's got cadet helmet thing. Chopper has got a wheel accessory and then his little rocket booster thing with a flame accessory so you can kind of mount him up to make it look like he's flying. And that's just rad. He's got his little arms, he's got some pop out things, and that's it. There are some figures that I didn't mention before that have been announced that you know I've talked about in other videos. 
Vice Admiral Holdo from The Last Jedi, Skiff Guard Lando, which uh, you know is gonna be great. I've already talked about them, so I don't really don't want to get into them. I really wanted to focus on the stuff that just got announced, the the new breaking news, and I wanted to show off a little bit of my toy room, which you know all you're seeing is this. But that's it. That's all I've got. Thanks for sticking with me. I'm back. I'll try to do more videos, but I still have more work to do, so I'm not out of the woods yet. There's a ton of stuff in my closet I haven't put out. I have to take all these out of the boxes. It's it's a process. It's a long process. If you ever moved and you have a collection like mine, you know what it's like. But thanks for watching. Thanks for getting this far. There's a couple of different ways in the downstairs area. You can support my channel if you want to. Like, share, subscribe. You know, the normal YouTube stuff. And I'll see you later. Bye.